Hey guys, Sean here from Hammerhead. Just coming on to give you guys another update. Uh, today my buddy Gordon and I went to three RCM or two RCMP and a town police uh, station to give the evidence packages out. The one we were using today was from uh, uh, StandUnitedBC.ca. <coughs> it was their informed consent <coughs> package. And you can get that at StandUnitedBC.ca. We uh, handed out uh, one to the Numinus detachment. There was an officer uh, in there. You'll see it right after this little talk of mine. It'll be attached to this video. Uh, that's not the whole thing. There's actually 20 minutes of uh, speech that went on between us. You can see the whole thing on my Rumble channel. I will have a link when I download it to Rumble for the entire thing if you want to go witness that. But I do have the first four minutes of it um, for you guys to watch here. Um, also, uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make the party out in uh, Winnipeg. It's just too far. Uh, there's too much going on at work. So, <clears throat> anyone that's donated, the funds will be given to uh, Gordon, who's going out, my partner. A friend of mine who's going to be there, and he's going to be live streaming the event. He's also going to be doing interviews, and he will be speaking on stage. So, we're going to have that. Those funds will be given to him. <clears throat> also... If there's any other donations come in, they'll be kept in lieu because it looks like I will be joining the party after the main event. Uh, it, it, there's a possibility, a very strong one, that they'll have a, an action of sorts after this weekend, after the weekend of the 9th, 10th, 11th in Winnipeg, in which they'll be calling for volunteers to come that aren't at the conference, and I will be part of that group. And it'll be much easier for me to get time off. Um, but in any case, I'm going to be there, but not there in person. It's just, it, I have too much work on my schedule. I could give you a million excuses as to why, but it just turns out I'm not going to be able to make the show. So Gordon is going in my stay, um, which is fine, because he, he, him and I think exactly alike, and uh, he, he's going to get the information out to you. Um, for those of you that have donated, we sincerely appreciate it <clears throat> from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much. Those that wish to, you can donate Sean Bradley 452 at cohotransfers.ca. Sean Bradley 452 at cohotransfers.ca. All donations, like I said, will be will be given to uh, the traveling parties and will be used for fuel and for food expenses. And receipts are going to be available. And any any uh, donations that happen to come in after the fact will be held in trust by me personally in an account that I don't have access to unless I uh, uh, go to the bank. So I will be uh, in, in holding that in trust. Just so you know, uh, we're not going to be spending it on beer or anything like that. It, we, this is serious business and you guys know that we're serious about the, getting our country back. And we wouldn't ever do anything to jeopardize that. But in any case, it's going forward. Uh, there, I would wager a bet that thousands and thousands of evidence packages were delivered to all across Canada and all the RCMP. The OPP as well has been served with the paperwork, as well as some regional police departments. I know Halifax Regional, I know Cape Breton Regional, and a few others are getting them today as well. And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that's the same in every province. They have regional police that will be getting the packages. Also, vaccine clinics and some and other places will be receiving the package as well. So, the word is going to get out, folks. There'll be no deniability. Um, full consent uh, has to be given, and that's what that's what we're we're standing on. Is the fact that informed consent includes all the ins, all the outs, all the liabilities, all the ingredients, all the side effects, all everything. And uh, that was not given, and so they're using that as the basis of everything. So, stand in truth, stand in love, and stand in man's law, which is common law. And uh, I think that's the path forward. And of course, uh, nothing could happen without our Creator, without the Good Lord. So we give Him praise and we give Him all the glory and all the honor, because we don't want any of it. And um, we're just here uh, as his hands and as, as his voice and as his, uh, as his uh, students. So in any case, enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, as soon as I hear any more information about anything, I will get in touch with you. Um, please go over to Rumble if you ha uh, follow the link 
when I have it up on Rumble, I will go back and post in the description of this video the link for the uh, for the whole speech and our interactions with the police. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Cheers. Basically, uh, all about citizens inquiry. Basically, ask you guys for assistance in starting an investigation into all the vaccination mandates and so on and so forth. Okay. So, in inside of this paperwork. Um, is all the evidence that you guys need. This paperwork is designed to go to the superiors as well as the subordinates. Okay. And uh, this is a national initiative. This yeah. Is place all across the country. I'm sure you guys did. Got there was a phone call on. earlier about it, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I was in Wolfville. Okay. I talked to the lady on the phone because that's the satellite office. Yeah. It's going to be available. Um, anyway, so basically, I just want to leave this information with you. Um, Where did anyone call you back yet? No, not from Wolfville. I just left and just coming here. Okay. And uh, you guys are in satellite, satellite office. I live here locally anyway, so that's why I'm doing this area. I'm in all the different places here. And uh, we're trying to get this out basically. The idea of getting this to every station, uh, it's not like some people think it's we're going to try to cause a bunch of issues and put, piss you guys off or whatever, but that's not the case. We're trying to get. We're asking for help. We're asking for you guys to help us so then the more people that are aware within your, your whole branch or everything you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and then we're just gonna we'll see what happens from this. Like uh, I know we do we're, we're just running out of options and we're, you guys are here to protect the service. So is this something that you guys are looking at dropping off and leaving with us? Mm -hmm. Or is this yeah, but I just have to fill out some information into it. That's why I haven't dropped it first yet. So uh, uh, are you the one that I'm gonna give this to? I think there was an email, so let me just double check and make sure that there's not a person that they want dealing with this specifically at the okay. management here. Yep. And uh, can we get a business card, please? Like as a contact, just yeah, just so that we yeah, can tell people. I'm talking to, so at this point, yeah. I mean, if I even have to email this to somewhere else, that's okay. But yeah. Like Hang out here. Let me have a quick look at the email, and it'll be back to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're at the New Minus RCMP detachment. And as you saw, we were actually able to speak to somebody. There's somebody actually in today, so we're going to get this officer's business information, his card, and hopefully we'll be leaving here with an incident number. And keep in mind, they have an email. They have an email um, they address. Had an email. They were aware of this, whether it was from us being in Wolfville or right. they had information through the inside. So what are we going to do with the email? We're going to follow up with yeah, yeah, we'll electronic we'll papers. Yeah, we'll follow up electronically. Maybe, like he said, maybe there's an officer that we're supposed to deal with directly, but it does certainly seem like they're aware of this taking place. Yeah, that's uh, what it sounded like. In the RCMP across the country. Yeah, it seems like they he knew that this was coming. But a good guy. Yeah, you know, seems to be good so far. So basically, what we're just saying is, you know, we're asking for your help, and it's a citizen's inquiry to yep. get you guys to start investigations into what's actually taking place. Start here. looking at it, the evidence, yeah. and we have evidence, lots of it. Yeah. A crime has been committed here, people. That's why we're here. A massive crime and genocide is occurring, right? So, yep. that's why we're here. So here's the informed consent since you're all going to read this out to This is a this is the informed consent script that we have, and basically it's I can't a, we can't mention anything about uh you know what. No, basically it says do you understand the meaning of informed consent? Uh, informed consent is the act of agreeing to allow something to happen or to do something with full understanding of all the relevant facts, including the risks and available alternatives. The full knowledge and understanding is the necessary factor in whether an individual can give informed consent. This type of consent applies to many situations in life, including making decisions about medical care and legal issues, as well as entering contacts. Consent is given only if that person has been informed of and understands the facts of the situation with a full comprehension of the risks and benefits of the decision, as well as an understanding of the possible alternatives that any individual can consider whether an action would be in his best interest. Obtaining of informed consent is especially important in the medical field, as failing to receive such approval leaves medical professionals liable for injuries that may occur. So it says, do you feel as though you've been fair and informed?